Due to the latest alleged terroristic attack that hit close to home in Lower Manhattan, after a truck severely plowed into a Manhattan bike path on Tuesday, October 31st, killing 8 and injuring 11, debates return as Americans become more divided in this polarized society over the issue of terrorism, defined as an act of violence on civilians meant to frighten a larger community for political purposes. This is Cure for Conflict on Understanding Terrorism in a Terroristic World. It's, whenever you do something that's hateful, when you're gonna, when you go out there and you do something that's hateful, it's an act of terrorism. Whether you attack one person or you attack thousands of people, it's a form of terrorism. I believe attack would be considered terrorism when it's through the masses. Terrorism for me has to be something like where, like, incorporates like different people from all around the world doing very heinous things to other part, other part, parts of this world especially if it's centralized around some type of hate. I believe something is, is, is technically terrorism when it is a planned attack that is based on the idea that you want to hurt as many people as possible and strike as much fear into people's hearts as humanly possible. I think it's when it kills a whole population no one really wanted to use the word terror. When it comes to someone that is not of, when it comes to someone that's not of the Islamic faith or from the Middle East, no one wants to use the word terror. A group of people or a person holding a gun and walking to the street or walking to the store and stop shooting people. And all the people are running away and all the police coming and after, after that, he found out, the police found out the person is coming from ISIS, coming from an uh, IS or some group considered journalism as a terrorist. When I hear terrorism on the news, it feels like something that's like an everyday thing at this point. Um, whether it's in America or it is over in Europe, it's something that happens at least, I feel like, once a week at this point. I guess I've come to the, to the point where I'm kind of almost like dehumanized by it because after the age of 13, which I was 13 when 9-11 happened, um, it was like a terrorist attack, terrorist attack. Usually I try to stay away from that, honestly. It's not really something I like to, like to go into. I am aware, of course, that it exists, but Usually when I see that popping on the news, like anything, like a recent like bombings going on or anything like that, usually like I'll, I'll, I'll probably like maybe see a pop out in the news, but then I immediately flip to something else. Terrorist attack, terrorist attack, terrorist attack, and it's just like nonstop, and it just kept going and it's happening over and over. I think terrorism is very overused, the word. Whenever there's a little bomb somewhere or a shooting attack, we're overusing this term all the time, so I feel like over time, it's not only become this big fear, but it's become this huge, like, it's just overused now. I feel like it has no meaning now. Like I said before, you could be in New York City, you could be in Las Vegas, Orlando, these, these, anywhere is, is a target. The first reaction for me, I want to visit for the, for, for, for the terrorists, I mean the set. When something happened, I want to watch uh, how it's going because um, I don't mean to to go there. I don't mean to go there to to kind of get the kind of get what happened. I just want to experience that through people, so I can tell people what happening during the during the attack. The fear of terrorism stems from the idea that you're helpless. There is a mass attack going on that is hurting a bunch of people around you, and you know you could be one of those people as well. The news, politicians, and the president, they all play off our fear. That's what makes money. If you're, if you're able to scare enough people to move, you're able to control them. Um, and that's, that's really what it's for. Because the terrorism can, happy, can happen anywhere, uh, anytime. People realize it can happen at any time, at any place, 
and you could be doing anything. You could be, feel like you're, you're safe in a church or at school and things are happening constantly. I think it stems from two factors. One would be unpredictability because you don't know where this is going to happen and you don't know who it's going to be and you don't know what exactly kind of situation they're going to be in. And second would be control because no matter what they're going to have control over over 90% of the situation. Uh, now, like with social media, you get to find out a terrorist attack happened in London right after it happened. I believe it stems from 9-11, basically. Stay home and, uh, or stay somewhere else is safe maximize security in any way we can. For me, the ultimate solution is to just be aware because terrorism is a tricky subject. It's very uncontrolled, so just be aware of your surroundings. I mean, just be aware. Be aware of your surroundings. You're nev you never really know when it's gonna happen. At this point, you just have to be aware of your situations and hopefully, if something's happening, you know to follow proper procedure to stay, safe, stay as safe as you can. And the other part, I'm a black man living in America. I already don't feel safe. I want to ask the viewers at home, how would you react next time you get an alert about a terrorist attack? I'm your host, Bilal, and this is Understanding Terrorism in a Terroristic World on Cure for Conflict.